Surface preparation is critical to the successful application of coatings. When advising on coatings, it is critical to assess the initial condition of the surface and the condition required after preparation for the coating to be successfully applied. A higher degree of surface preparation will generally raise the level of performance that a given paint system will provide. A clearly defined standard for surface preparation is therefore essential. Both contractor and client must agree on the standard of surface cleanliness required. International standards are available to provide a reference standard for all stages of surface preparation. This section outlines the key standards you are likely to be using. That's great. The industry has generally adopted one of two major international standards. Firstly, there are standards jointly developed in America by SSPC and NACE International. Secondly, there is the ISO standard, Pictorial Surface Preparation Standards for Painting Steel Surfaces, ISO 85011. Client must set the appropriate standard for surface preparation within the specification. Your job may be to advise the client and help him to make the correct choice. The standards you agree to use determine the condition the surface must be in prior to application of the coating. Agreeing on appropriate standards up front means that disputes can be avoided and the coating will perform at its best. The key types of standard dealt with in this section are those for solvent cleaning, mechanical cleaning, blast cleaning, and water jetting and cleaning. SSPC SP1 defines the options for solvent cleaning of steel surfaces to remove oil, grease, dirt, soil, drawing compounds, and other similar organic compounds. SSPC SP1 defines the options for solvent cleaning for a wide variety of solvent such as those shown here. You need to be sure that there is no problem with smearing contaminants over the surface with the solvent rather than removing them. SSPC SP1 stresses the need to observe current regulations, particularly restrictions on the release of solvents into the immediate work environment. The TLV is the concentration from time-weighted averages based on conditions which it is believed that workers may be repeatedly exposed to day after day without adverse effect. In confined spaces, it is vital that the TLV, threshold limit value, of specific solvents should not be exceeded. Many SSPC standards are interrelated and they should be considered in relation to each other. For example, SSPC SP1 is automatically included as a potential precursor to any other SSPC surface preparation standard, including mechanical cleaning standards, SP2, SP3, SP11, and blast cleaning standards, SP5, SP10, SP6, SP7.
Blast cleaning is probably the most economical process to clean a surface adequately for coating and at the same time etch the surface to provide a key for the subsequent coating. Most modern coatings require the combination of a clean surface and a suitable surface profile to achieve optimum performance of the coating system. The user should take account of the initial condition of the steel surface before cleaning, defined by ISO and SSPC as grades A, B, C or D. Photographs are provided for each degree of surface preparation based on the initial condition. The appearance of the surface after cleaning will differ depending on the initial condition of the steel. Sweep blasting is a term used to specify a level of minimum blasting. Sweep blasting is generally performed at lower blast pressures and with the nozzle held further from the surface. Fine abrasive may also be chosen. Generally, sweep blasting will be encountered in a maintenance situation. It is most often used to roughen the surface of an existing coating prior to coating without removing the coating or to remove only the loose coatings and contamination from a surface. In every case, the judgment of the condition of the surface prior to painting is made by visual appraisal with no magnification or other supplementary equipment. In poor light conditions, such as inside any tank, the lighting provided must be of adequate quality to allow good judgment to be made. There are many national standards for surface preparation in use throughout the world. In general, these will have a similar equivalence to that shown above, and use of the ISO 85011 photographic standard is most common. The ISO standard appears in many forms and may provide the basis of many national standards, including British Standard Specification for Surface Finish of Blast Clean Steel for Painting, BS 7079, Australian Standard, Japanese standard, DIN, German standard, CEN, European standard. The surface amplitude can be measured in various ways, either by direct measurement or by using Testex tape, a newer method of measuring surface profile after abrasive blasting. When cleaning is performed by hand, using either manual tools or power tools, the standard of finish required should be defined. For power tool cleaning steel of grade A, initial condition is not used because it refers to steel with intact mill scale. However, three grades are introduced by SSPC to cover previously painted steelwork in a maintenance situation. These grades are E, F and G. These grades are shown in pictorial standard SSPC Viz 3. SSPC has defined three standards that refer to the method used for mechanical cleaning. 
SSPC-SP2 defines surface preparation by manual tools, for example, wire brush, scraper and so on. SSPC-SP3 defines surface preparation by power tools. SSPC-SP11 defines surface preparation by power tools to achieve a bare metal surface with the production of a surface profile, 25 microns. In supplementary documents, SSPC Viz 1, Viz 3, SSPC provides guide photographs to illustrate the standards. These also include the grades which represent the surface before cleaning. These definitions are essentially the same as similar definitions used in the ISO standard ISO 85011.